Oh, yeah, it's good in this. Oh, but it's fun. Let's answer questions. Honey Sucker 84 asks, What is your real name? My real name, if you want to know, is not Suiko Takara. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you my real name until I've met you face to face, so. No, no. Ah, uh, 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 how many A's are there? One, two, three. Now, Mark. Ah, uh, Mark 1 asks, What are you doing currently? Studying or working? Well, as you can see, I'm holding my phone. I'm sitting under. Uh, hmm. There. In my room with all the garbage around me I'm kind of sitting but on a bigger scale I am studying the exati yeah huh okay the exati I think asks have you ever wear braces I have I had I have mm. I'm wearing retainers right now there's this documentary of braces that night I told my ma ma I want braces and I can't believe out of all the things in the world how the feck did I get duped by an RTM1 documentary? I mean, if it was that Geo or Discovery Channel, then yeah, everyone get duped by that. Probably because I was thir 13 at that time, but seriously, even 13 year olds don't get duped by those kind of documentaries, man. It's RTM1. Amit. Aramit. Z asks. Periksa dah habis kah? Dok main main jawab soalan ni. Pergi study lah weh. Um, no. Ada lagi tiga paper hari rabu depan. Suka hati aku ajar soalan weh. Kau sibuk pasal. Jamban IT asks. Are you lesbian? What kind of question is this? Am I lesbian? Oops. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nana Roar asks. How did you get yourself to play music? How do you usually cook or have instant noodles? Have you ever played Pokemon? What is the word song that you usually strike when you caught yourself using singing on a daily basis? First question. How do you like myself playing music? I, to put it bluntly, I get excited. I get excited when I see musical instruments. This! Oh god, it's so pretty! How do you usually cook or have instant noodles? As a um, product of boarding schools, we would just pour hot water on it and eat it. For one, I don't like the soupy ones. I don't really like the migoreng kind. You know, the aipanas, tuskanai, bucha-bucha-bucham, stuff. But until last week, I just discovered that if you follow the instructions word for word, you're going to eat the most delicious instant noodle you've ever tasted in your whole pathetic life. I shit you not when I say that. In your life. That makes me want to eat instant noodles. Huh. Solidified. Ow! Oh, I bought my nuts. And the final step. Japanese version of Japanese version of white Japanese version of pocket monster white version it is not zooming in you stupid thing I have not played it yet I played the Zelda yeah. Yeah. cut grass cut grass all day and I played Tetris religiously two spaces two Like that. 
made the one with Kanto Johto thing. That's my favorite because, dude, you have to ride a ship from Kanto to Johto. No, from Johto to Kanto. And you do jo Johto first and then you go to Kanto and just goes back to all the memories of you going with Pikachu around Pallet Town and stuff. I train them like friggin' hell. One, because I don't know how to cheat. Two, because I just don't like cheating. But it's more to I don't know how to cheat. What is the word song that you dislike when you caught yourself using or singing it on a daily basis? Word. I previously hated cursing, but now I just think that all cursing, all the cuss words really, are not offensive. It's just a way of you telling people how extremely whatever, because you're so angry. If that thing is crazy shit awesome, I'm going to use all those words that you say are cuss words. To me, it's, it's a language. It's a part of language. It's not offensive if it, you know, applies to the context. Um, song. I have to say, I really, really hate Ganda Junaidi's Ankasu. I just really hate that song. One, it's a cheesy love song, but I totally get her being of the pop kind of music person. It's like the Malaysian Taylor Swift or something. But my problem with that song is this, the grammar. The grammatical errors in that song. It just irks me. You know how there are English grammar Nazis? So many of them that you just like want to kill them all. Sometimes, probably, I don't know. I have an English grammar Nazi friend. I am the Malay version of that. My teacher, I hated my teacher so much that I excelled in this class. Later on, I just remember everything he said until now. Mm. And when once I heard the lyrics of that song, I was just, I want to kill myself. Because it was, God, how can you... I mean, I totally get that she doesn't speak much Malay, and so thus the grammatical errors. But seriously, I mean, how can anyone let anyone write something with such immense grammatical error? It irks me so much. That, I just keep on listening to the song. Criticizing and cursing to that song is just... And I just got myself singing. I caught myself singing that song every time I listen to her. And it was just, God, what is wrong with me? Lyrics of it. Oh god. Grammatical error is killing me. Softly. With that song. <sighs> Sarkasi1990 asks, So, secara ilmiahnya, apakah pandangan anda tentang muzik di Jepun? And may I have your tie-dye hoodie, please? Um, secara ilmiahnya, what? Perspective, really. Secara ilmiah kan. Sebestinya seperti biasa kena bagi mainstream dengan indie. Mainstream punya lagu. Bullshit dia tahap sakit jiwa tau kalau dengar. Kalau faham lirik dia especially. Sakit jiwa serious shit. Sangat-sangat kecil yang sangat menarik. J jangan baca maksud lirik dia. Jangan. Tolonglah jangan. Kalau faham lirik tu memang rasa sakit jiwa lah. Dah lah, dah lah dia macam campur dengan English tau. English dia berterabur macam siot tau. Sakitnya hati tengok English berterabur macam ni. Lepas tu macam buat apa kau nak masukkan English yang berterabur kan. Dah lah bahasa Jepun ni pun macam, macam bongok. Right now I'm focusing to AK Stupid B48, The Johnny's, their songs. Ayat dia tu macam ulang tau. Dari dekat lepas bunyi lagu pun, still dengar ayat yang sama. Word for word. Cuma dalam lagu lain, dia rentak lain. Oh, korang tak bosan pun dengan lagu macam ni kan? Tapi sebab tu pop song nanti lah. Fine lah. And then there's indie. Like Toh and some other band names you just never heard of. I don't even know much about Japanese indie but the trend right now is this. Semestinya band, sebab nak cari perempuan main gitar ni susah gila bongok tau. Yui seorang tu juga main gitar kot. Tak tahu adalah orang lain tapi still. Why I'm babbling? Ah, for the indie part, lagu dia, dia macam main 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 main. Contoh. Okay, this is an example of an Japanese indie song. Did I just sum up everything? I guess I did. And my tie hoodie. Tie dye hoodie, tie dye hoodie. Where are you? Ha, do what announcement though. This tie dye hoodie, I'll give it to you. Not in a million years! Zinemeth asks, The fuck? <laughs> Hidzme asks, Where do babies come from? Let's play a song. Daddy and Mummy loves each other so much that. A baby come into mummy's stomach, just grows out of nowhere, just come there, lives there for nine months. Then the baby come out of mummy's butt. So yeah, that's where babies come from. Kill, cool, call, Q. Yeah, I have to emphasize that. Kill, cool, call asks, where did you get your tie-dye hoodies? Uh, titi kaka, titi kaka, chichi, chichi kaka. What? Titi kaka. It's a shop. Let's see, we are origin since 1977. Wow, I did not know that. It's actually a men's hoodie. 
Cute Zaifi asks, my question is, how is your life compared to Japan and Malaysia? Can you say something kawaii in Japanese? Ma, how is my life compared? Well, um, I like the freedom. Every time I, I have to go out, I have to ask my my mother's permission to go out. And when I do, nak pergi mana? Pergi dengan siapa? Pergi buah apa? Balik buah apa? Pergi naik apa? Kawan tu siapa? What's your friend's name? Di sekolah mana? Di sekarang ambil kau siapa? Kelai dia macam mana? So many questions, man. Which is why I like the freedom here. I mean, I love my mother. I love my mother still, but sometimes, you know, those kind of things. But still, I, I totally understand what she does all that. I like my mother's domination when I'm back at home because she controls me. If not, I'm going to be a loose cannon. I know that. In Japan, I can be a loose cannon. I already am. It's a nice experience being a loose cannon most of the time. Eh, <sighs> asks, What and where are you studying? I'm currently in Japan. I'm studying electronics engineering. I love what I'm learning right now. I just suck at it. <laughs> I love everything I study right now, except this one particular subject that teaches me how to make antennas. I mean do. Seeing pictures of circuits turns me on. But antennas, seriously? Mr. Heiho7 asks, Kawin nak tema galabu? Rainbow! Mr. Heiho7 asks, again, KFC atau roti jam? Choose one. Seriously? Seriously, man. Tolong ah. Mestilah KFC. Ingat sini ada KFC. Roti jam boleh buat sendiri you lah. Comparing the whole of KFC with a small petty pasar malam punya roti jam. God, what is wrong with you? Hida 090405 asks, Budak kosen ke budak dai? Budak kosen! Peace Lama 2 asks, How long you have to take to get to the nearest convenience store? Well, um, it's really close. It takes about like 39 to 40 seconds with a jet plane, so it's, it's not that far. Rapper X3RO, Rapper Zero, I guess, asks, How long have you been doing music? What inspires a lot of the music you make? Would you be willing to collaborate with anyone eventually? Also, can I have a hug? How long have you been doing music? I don't know. As in making? As in the existence of the Venopian Solitude, it would be around mid-2000... 2000... mid-2009? Yeah, mid-2009. So when I finished secondary school, I just played the keyboard like crazy. Every day, every night, all night long, making new rhythms, new short rhythms and stuff. And then fast forward to around 2008, I asked my mother, Ma, can I buy a guitar? She just doesn't say no. She gives me loads of reasonable reasons for me to not buy guitars. But I went ahead, bought a ukulele, which can fit in my bag, because I was just rebelling at that time. Go back to college, I hid it in my luggage bag, and she did not know I had a ukulele until like a year, a year or two later. I'm that good at hiding that ukulele. And from then on, I just bought, I just spontaneously bought stuff with scholarship money, musical instruments. What inspires a lot of the music you make? I don't know if this is getting inspired. It's more like I get excited. I get emotionally bleh. Emotionally excited. Actually, I got just this, all this crapshit music making from not wanting to write blogs when I was 17, right? After I finished my secondary school, there was this trend. It's people making blogs and posting their everyday thing on a journal. Today, I eat nasi ayam. That nasi ayam was so good. This nasi ayam was made by my mother. Blah, 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 blah. Because it was a trend and I've gotten bored of it because I started blogging since I was 14 and I've gotten past that period of writing about myself and what I do daily. I got bored with, you know, posting boring blog posts. So I instead wanted to write a poem, blog post, in the form of poem. But because at that time, I thought poems were supposed to have deep, meaningful meanings, and I know I'm not that poetic in the first place, so I did not write poems, I didn't write lyrics instead. I'm actually blogging via music. Yeah. Would you be willing to collaborate with anyone eventually? I have. Here. I put here, there. Mini guitar. I made it with my friend Shazami, and we did have plans with my friend uh, studying in India, the other one studying in Australia. All four of us supposed to be doing an Anamoli cover, but because Shazam is busy, it's still on hold, I guess. This weekend, I'm going to start collaborating with my friend Jeremy and other crazy dude whose name I'm not going to mention because he's crazy and stupid. He's not stupid, he's stupid crazy. Also, can I have a hug? Um, yeah, I cannot hug the camera, so you can have a hug. Ha. Huh. Oh, uh, the junkie girl, huh?